The man وسلم, he was praying in sajda. They used to come and throw the guts of animals, the guts of dead animals. They used to pour it on his back sallallahu alayhi wasallam as he was in salah. They harmed him. They swore at him. They threw rocks at him. They threw dust in his face. They spat in his face. They mocked him. They belittled him. They harmed his family sallallahu alayhi wasallam. 13 years in Mecca. Prosecution for what? They killed his companions. Sumaya, a female companion. What did she do? They opened her legs and they rammed a spear in her private part and they killed her in front of him. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His daughter was stabbed. She was pregnant. They divorced his daughters. For what? She lost her child because of that stab. She ended up dying the following year, that same year. She ended up dying as a result of that wound. For three years, they boycotted him in Mecca. Three years, they boycotted him and all of his family, even the ones that were non-Muslims. Sahaba said we were eating the leaves of the trees. Our droppings became like the droppings of animals. So much harm was inflicted upon them again and again. Hostility. When he went to At-Ta'if, they pelted him for kilometers. They sent their children and they sent the mad people of their city for kilometers. Chasing him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, pelting him with stones. He was bleeding from head to toe. In the battle of Uhud, they killed his uncle Hamza Radil. Not killed, they didn't kill. They absolutely mutilated the man. I mean, imagine him ripped his liver out. She took a bite from his liver. She chewed it and then spat it on the floor. Sahaba said, we never seen the Prophet of Allah cry like he cried when he seen his uncle Hamza. We never seen him cry like that. In narrations, he prayed Janaza on his uncle 70 times. All this. And when he returned to Mecca after years of prosecution with an army of 10,000 companions, the likes of which Arabia never seen before. And he entered into Mecca victorious. He was on his animal. He lowered his forehead so much. His forehead was touching the back of his animal. He was praising Allah saying today victory belongs to Allah alone. When he stood in the Haram and those thousands of people who harmed him, Kuffar, not Muslims, Kuffar. Now they are surrounded by 10,000 companions armed to the bone, ready at the drop of a word. They were ready to give their lives for him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They stood there surrounded by 10,000 companions. He says to them, and what do you think I will do with you today? He says, go. Every one of you is free. I forgive every single one of you. Man. Your own Muslim brother and sister, you can't forgive.